Hello, Classroom 4A. Welcome to class meeting on this Wednesday afternoon, October 7, 2020. We're going to get started with a Starfall Sing Along Volume 2 song, number 17, I'm a Little Teapot, because our letter this week is letter T. Here we go. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. All right. Next, we're going to do our calendar activity using Starfall. So I'm going to move over to the October calendar. Yippee! It's October 2020. Let's make a calendar. Let's start with the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so what day of the week is it today? Well, today is Wednesday. Great job. Today is Wednesday, October 7th, 2020. And if today is Wednesday, yesterday was Tuesday. And if today is Wednesday, what will tomorrow be? Well, tomorrow will be Thursday. That's right. Tomorrow's Thursday. So today is Wednesday, October 7th, 2020. So I'm going to pick up the day of the week. Wednesday. And the day. 7th. Great job. Next, we're going to mark the special days this month. Well, today is October 7th, so I'm going to pick up the smiley face and move it over on October 7th. Then on Monday, October 12th, it will be Columbus Day, Thanksgiving, Canada. Columbus Day on the 12th and Thanksgiving in Canada. And then on October 16th, it says one of our students in our class is celebrating his 18th birthday, so I'm going to move a piece of birthday cake over on the 16th, and happy birthday to him, and then on Saturday, October 31st, it will be Halloween. Happy Halloween, Saturday, October 31st. Next, I'm going to decorate our calendar. I think today I'm going to choose the scarecrow. What a great harvest October picture. Now our calendar is complete. Next, I'm going to do one more activity from Starfall. And because we're celebrating letter T this week, I'm going to choose a book from our talking library. On the nonfiction side, and because the temperatures outside have been changing, because we're in a new season, fall, I chose Thermometers. Thermometers, this book, Thermometers starts with the letter T. Thermometers by Stephen Schutz. How hot? How cold? You can feel hot. A thermometer tells you how hot. You can feel cold. 
A thermometer tells you how cold. Thermometers tell us how hot or how cold. This is the temperature. Hi. When it is hot, the line goes up. The temperature is high. Low. When it is cold, the line goes down. The temperature is low. There are many kinds of thermometers. All thermometers tell us the temperature. They tell us how hot and how cold. I feel sick. Am I hot? Mom uses this thermometer to see. It looks cold today. Will I need a coat? I use this thermometer to see. That looks yummy. Can we eat it? Dad uses this thermometer to see. Look at this picture. Is the temperature high or low? What do you think the thermometer will say? The end. I think the thermometer is going to say it's cold outside. The temperature is going to be low. Look at that snow. All right, next I'm going to read you two News to You articles. One is called Fat Bear Week Winner. Last week I read you an article about the Fat Bear Contest in Alaska, and we have a winner, so I'm going to read you that article. And then I also wanted to read you an article that I mailed to you today called NHL Draft. So we'll start with the Fat Bear Winner article. In World News, October 7th, that's today, Fat Bear Week winner. Fat Bear Week is a winner. Fat May National Park in Alaska has Fat Bear Week every fall. Fat Bear Week is a contest to find the fattest bear in Cat May. The bears in Cat May eat a lot during the summer and fall. They become fat to prepare for winter when they hibernate and do not eat. To hibernate means to sleep all winter. During Fat Bear Week, which was September 30th to October 6th, Cat May posted photos of fat bears online. People voted for the bears that looked the biggest or fattest. A bear named 747 had the most votes and became the winner. Congratulations, 747. Here we have the same article with Pictures with the words, Cat May National Park in Alaska has Fat Bear Week. Fat Bear Week is a contest to find the fattest bear. Bears become fat to prepare for the winter. Bears hibernate during the winter and do not eat. To hibernate means to sleep all winter. Fat Bear Week was September 30th to October 6th. Cat May posted photos of fat bears online. People voted for the bears that looked the fattest. A bear named 747 had the most votes. He became the winner of Fat Bear Week. And here is our review page with our three questions. I'm going to pick up my pen. What is Fat Bear Week? A parade, a holiday, or a contest? It's a contest. That's right. Well, park has Fat Bear Week, Cat May National Park, Central Park, or National Mall. It's the Cat May National Park. Great job. And our last question, where is Cat May National Park? In Florida, Montana, or Alaska? It's in Alaska. That's right, where the temperatures are very cold. Great job with our review questions. Now I'm going to put my pen down and I'm going to read you one final article. This one is the one I mailed to you today called NHL Draft that came out October 6th. That was yesterday. The NHL teams are playing hockey in this picture. The 2020 NHL Draft is October 6th and 7th. That's yesterday and today. The NHL hockey teams pick new hockey players during the draft. The NHL hockey teams take turns picking players. 
the New York Rangers team will pick the first player of the draft. Many people will watch the NHL draft online or on TV. Usually the draft takes place in a stadium or arena or hockey players walk across a stage to put on their jerseys, their new jerseys. This year, the draft will be online because of the coronavirus. Will you watch the NHL draft? Now I'm going to read the article one more time. This time we have pictures with the words NHL draft. This came out yesterday. The 2020 NHL draft is October 6th through the 7th. The NHL hockey teams pick hockey players at the draft. The NHL hockey teams take turns. The New York Rangers team will pick the first player. Many people will watch the NHL draft. The draft is usually at a stadium. Hockey players walk across the stage. They put on their new hockey jerseys. This year, the draft will be online. The draft will be online because of the coronavirus. All right, now for our review page, we have three more questions. I'll pick up my pen. I think I'll choose green this time. What is October 6th through 7th? The MLB draft, the NFL draft, or the NHL draft? It's the NHL draft. The hockey players are being drafted to their teams. Number two, who do NHL hockey teams pick at the draft? Balloon artists, artists, hockey players, or hula dancers? Hockey players, of course. And our last question, what team will pick the first player? The New York Rangers, the Nashville Predators, or the Detroit Red Wings? The New York Rangers get to pick first. How about that? Well, thank you for joining my class meeting today on this Wednesday, October 7th, 2020. I hope you enjoyed our, new, our current event articles. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon and a great evening. And I'll see you tomorrow in my next YouTube class meeting video. Take care. Bye.